I think I know why this game sucks. This game sucks because it is trying to be Gran Turismo. The, see, the thing with Gran Turismo, there is a shit ton of races. You should not realistically be able to finish all these races, all said races, like, you know, in a short amount of time. Like, this fucking game here, I'm, mm, it's, it's, it's November. Just realized it's November and I was playing this game last November, so this game has been a staple on this channel and I've been playing it for well over a year now. There's no excuse for that. There's no excuse whatsoever for that, actually. You see, the thing about Gran Turismo is that it's the same boring races over and over and over and over and over. However, in that game, you have the ability to drive something that is not a Corvette. You have more than five different available cars to drive in that game. So, basically what I'm trying to say is that while you have to do the same race over and over and over, at least you have different cars with different styles of driving where you have to understand the way and weigh the pros and cons of each vehicle and their and you have the ability to fucking adjust their fucking performance. And you have the ability to pick tires and you have the ability to do a fully customizable transmission and you have the ability to actually do something, you know, interesting. As opposed to this game, which makes you do 500 fucking races of the exact same thing over and over and over and over with no progressive difficulty, only progressive amount of laps. The only thing that changes in this game is the amount of laps. It's just, it's just either a really nice, easy, short race that you can get done in like two minutes, or it's an arbitrarily fucking five lap long piece of shit. And then you have to restart on the last fucking lap, and then you get to do everything again. For another 10 minutes of your life, you'll never get back. It's very cool. In general. In general, I would describe this experience as very cool. I could have taken that shortcut. That was actually a shortcut. Some of these... I think this track is like the only track in the game where every shortcut actually is a shortcut, and it's not just the get rid of police cut. It's not a... It's not a long cut, or a slow cut. I don't remember what I called it before. I used, I used to have a term for shortcuts that actually weren't short. It actually made, it actually made you slower and, then, and it in turn made you do worse. Called it either the, the long cut or the slow cut. Probably the slow cut because technically it is a short cut. However, the problem is, is that, you know, you're just going slower so it, you know, makes no difference. Actually, the difference is that it makes you worse off. See it a lot in Need for Speed. That's probably where I coined the term, in fact. It's one of the Need for Speed games. One of, I've only played two on the channel. I was gonna play through all of them. I was gonna play through so many games, dude. I had Twisted Metal 4 ready to go after Twisted Metal Small Girl. That was quite the time to be alive. Back when I had ambition. Not really. Back when I just had time to burn. To make ten episode ten minute long episodes and artificially extend the series by several months. That wasn't the intention. The intention was just, you know, ten minute long episodes. I always thought I always thought for the longest time that episodes of games were gonna get shorter. It was gonna it was gonna stick closer to the um you know, the um, 7 minute to 12 minute range was where I was assuming all YouTube gaming content would turn due to the, you know, imminent nature of where YouTube was going. Like, shorter content was becoming more popular. You know, like, Vine was still big. TikTok was right around the corner. And still to this day, Twitter memes are always short. They are never long. Twitter memes never go over a minute. And there's still shorts to this day. You have YouTube shorts is just a fucking new, newfangled uh, addition in the last year. Like that shit should have been around since 2013.
I really did think. But you see, the thing is, is that gaming content now is really fucking long. Game Grumps uh, releasing 30 minute long episodes. I haven't watched Game Grumps in years, but I see their shit in my subscriber feed all the time. And now everyone that I watch plays through games, you know, like all the, even the highlight content, you know, that's, that's not like, you know, little 20 minute episodes. Usually highlight videos are fucking hour and a half, two hours long now. It's like, what? Where did this come from? Why, why is there such a stark contrast in memetic content? Because all this gaming stuff is always so long now. And you can see it reflected in my shit too. I'm putting out 20 minute long episodes of everything now. I still have the same, you know, upload schedule that I had before, though. It's still just, you know, one video a week for, for per series. Now they're just 20-minute long videos, and it's like, yeah. I don't know, dude. Shit's wild. Shit is indeed wild. I still don't really comprehend it, honestly. I, I, I honestly thought that gaming content was going to be uploaded more frequently, but in shorter bits. I really did think, and, and, and that's true, like, you know, games aren't exempt from memes, like, you'll still have those 40 second clips where absolutely wild shit happens, and like, everyone's like, okay, yeah, like those little clips from Oblivion, of people just doing normal stuff in Oblivion, million views for these 20 second clips, and it's like, bro, basically, I was at the, I, I came to the exact opposite conclusion as to what actually happened. Long form gaming content is now long form. Long form. And there's still me, but there are still gaming memes. Which is why my, uh, the memes thing is why my, uh, two seconds from every video video is still probably gonna be my favorite video of all time that I've ever made, even though I have so many better, more, better videos that were more thought out and took a lot more work to make than just downloading every video I ever uploaded and just pulling a two second clip out of each part. Yeah, man. Shit's wild. Shit is indeed wild. Anyway, last lap on this race coming up. This guy has been up my ass this entire event. Except for when I try to find him. Yeah, there he is. It's a new lap record! Oh my god, dude. This game. This game and its traffic is actually starting to annoy me. Starting to annoy me. Come on, dude. You haven't fishtailed this entire fucking series. And now you're fishtailing right at the last lap. Imagine the odds. Who could have possibly predicted such a precarious situation? Well, that was a nice YouTube spiel. I do YouTube spiels all the time. Because I hate what it is now. I hate the internet. The internet used to be amazing. Even as recently as when I first started YouTube, you know? Even as recently as, are you fucking kidding me? Even as recently as like 2014. I would say. The internet has been great. Like, 2016 internet was alright. But, like, it pales in comparison to 2008 internet. Pales in comparison to 2014 internet. I never got to experience the real internet. The real Wild West. I never got to. I, um, our, 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 our computer when I was, like, five. It was a big old boxy fucking thing. And the only and we didn't have internet. I don't even I don't know if we were I don't know if we were gonna bother with dial up. We probably could have done dial up, but like we were poor, so <laughs> probably could afford dial up is what I'm trying to say. Like I'm talking this is the this is the days of long distance calls. <laughs> Like, I'm talking 2002, dude. Like, these are, this is, this is prehistoric shit. Alright? We didn't get internet back then, so. The only thing I was able, the only thing I was able to do was my mom worked at the, uh, Chamber of Commerce. 
and they had like you know an internet cafe there and I just basically fucked around on computers all day when my mom was at work because I couldn't afford babysit. I'm just fucking around on the computers all day. It was great. I had my own personal computer that I always used. <laughs> and it was like in the middle of the room, so people had to deliberately go to that computer. I also had a ba but I did have a backup computer. Don't worry. I, if someone did use my computer, I had a backup computer. So, you know, it wasn't... It wasn't all for nothing. I had a backup computer. Um... Uh, my eyes hurt. Probably because I'm still tired. I didn't want to wake up, but I did wake up. You know, you know how it is. Yeah, there was, I want to say, 25 computers in that room, and they were all the giant boxy fuckers. Giant cube computer fuckers with Windows 95. It was Windows 95. I remember the Windows 95 startup. Because the Windows 95 startup would start with the normal, like, cloud background, and then, like, halfway through the startup sequence, it would change to the background of the, of that you picked, that you picked on the background for your personal computer, your personalized settings, you know? I always, we, and, and, and those computers had little webcam things, too. I, did, I don't think they saved audio. And I don't think you could actually save the videos. I think you could only save pictures. Or I didn't just figure, or I couldn't figure out how to save videos. I probably could have downloaded some shit to, you know, actually save videos, but I didn't. I didn't know about downloading things back then. I was like six, okay? My password was Pooh Bear, all lowercase. It's very good. Very good stuff. Um. Oh! Yeah, that was lit. I really like that. That was a good job that my mom had, you know, apart from the sexual harassment. Not me, her. <laughs> Sexually harassing the six year old. <laughs> or maybe I was, you know, who knows? Maybe I have some, um, some repressed memories of childhood trauma of being sexually harassed by my my mom's creep of a boss. You know, when you're... when you're like 24 years old and you're a single mom, you know, kind of gotta... kind of gotta watch out for that. That place was awesome, though, to be honest. Sometimes I would sneak onto the boss's computer. Oh, that was so lit. That probably made my mom like really thrill, just to see me fucking around in his in his in his office area, just be like, yeah, take that asshole. That'd be nice. I actually don't know if there was sexual harassment. I just assume there was, because maybe he was just a shitty boss. Because all I know is that my mom hates him. It's probably worn off with time, but for a long time there was one day. I think I was in sixth grade, where we were, where my mom was driving me to school, right? And he was on, and his, and, his, and her old boss, the one that she hates, was on his bike, just rolling down the highway, right? In the bike lane, obviously. There was no bike lane. This is North Dakota. You think there's a fucking bike lane? No, he was on the side of the road, just on his bike, put putting around like a true G. And my mom was like, you know, I think I could, I think I could make an argument to where. I could run him over and make it look like an accident. And I was like, yeah, you probably could, you know. Fucking my mom loves those ID crime shows. But I love those ID crime shows, so I'm not going to judge. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Lots of ID crime shows in this family. My grandma adores that channel. I remember we'd I'd, I'd, I'd go to her house. I'd have my, my, I had a TV there. Like my own personal little mini TV next to the regular one. I'd be playing GTA and my grandma would be watching fucking Murder Next Door. <laughs> And we'd be like, we'd be, we'd be together trying to figure out who the fucking murderer was. It's like, those fucking shows make, to, make it too obvious, by the way. Like, it's super obvious. You watch enough of those shows and you can basically solve fucking crimes on your own. 
It's like your own. It's like your own junior detective kit on TV, basically. Anyway. Yeah, she thought that she could hit him on his bike and make it look like an accident. That's what makes me think that there was some sexual harassment that take that took place, especially considering, like I said, single moms, 24 years old, prime of your life. There was no, like, concrete man in my life until, like, age six. It just kind of came and went. Just a bunch of rando fucks. Until my actual dad. Well, I call my real dad, even though he's not biological, but he is my real dad. I've talked about this before on the channel, but, like... Yeah, but like I was trying to say, like the point of the story is that I played on the computer a lot when I was little, but I didn't get to do a lot of adventuring. My, uh, my adventures on the internet were heavily monitored. I was only ever allowed to go to CartoonNetwork.com, Nickelodeon.com, Disney.com, and PBS.org. <laughs> there were some good-ass games on all those sites, though, so it's like, it's alright. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I didn't really have, like, day-to-day -day access to the internet until, like, way after 2007. What are you doing, you psycho? Um, we had a, we had a computer at our house, like, like, I remember the day that my mom threw away that big boxy computer. All I did on it was play Solitaire. That's literally, like, all that was on that computer, but I still enjoyed it. But my mom fucking threw away that computer, but it worked. It's like she literally just threw it in a dumpster and it worked. Like, I wasn't even mad that we had to get rid of it. I was like, yo, at least sell it. At least make a fucking profit. Like, come on. Obviously, we got a computer again at some point because, you know, you just can't live without that in this day and age. And really, the only exciting stuff that I did there was look up cheat codes. That's basically the extent of what I did on that computer. I remember, I do remember finding some weird websites, like I went to hat.com, I went to www.www.com, that was a pretty good one. That was a good site. I found some, found, I did find some weird shit. Not like weird shit, but like, you know, interesting shit. You know, like shit that you wouldn't expect to find. Like hat.com. Very good website. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it wasn't until, you know, like 2007, I found out about YouTube in like 2006-ish, and like I'd always find a way to sneak on a computer at school and look for shit. I'd always, I, I'd always look like on page four of Google results. I already like when it's the Google on the bottom. I'd always click like four or five because I didn't care about the first page of results. The fun stuff was at the back. It's like almost six. What are you doing, officer? You just killed two people. You saw that. He killed two fucking people. Just two cars, two innocent fucking people just trying to chase after me. Protect and serve my ass. Fuck. But yeah. Oh my god, this traffic. Fuck off, officer. No one cares about you. Go away, you loud ass. Go away. Oh my god, this guy is so annoying. Shut the fuck up already. You better fucking leave. Me taking the shortcut. You better fuck off. Nice. Nice. So the get rid of police officer shortcut no longer works. That's nice. Didn't really, yeah. So, like, eventually my mom's computer died at some point and then she got a new one. And this is the one that I used the most. It was a Toshiba. I remember that. And, um... That's the one where I first, like, actually started watching YouTube. Like, I actually watched the first video I ever watched, which was Kill Barney. That can't be the first YouTube video that I ever watched, but it's the one that I deliberately remember getting on that computer. 
looking up youtube.com and like that was the first video that I clicked was kill Barney fucking finally this race is over my god Ugh. finally this race is over and that means that only one set of races remain. Oh, man. We're almost there, dude. You have completed all C4 Mother Road Endurance races. That means five laps in the C5 is all that fucking remains and we've gotten so much percentage from just this series alone this 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 episode started i think at like 74 percent and now at, after this it's probably gonna be like 95 percent or something 95.2 that's what my guess is that is my guess this is gonna take forever to save though so it's gonna take forever to find out hell yeah i love waiting waiting is so much fun 94.8. I was close. So, I'm real fast. And the fact that you're a racer is a fiddle-dee-doo. My mom says, I l says, let's all die here. I don't understand why. Gonna take that package. Are we gonna take the package? <laughs> it's good for your health. Your legs will get stronger. We're cars! We don't have legs! <laughs> mm. Ooh, woo!